Let's move on to the wide receivers. Your 2022 field of 12 All-Americans at that position. We're going to go with one, probably not a surprise, Jackson Smith and Jigba from Ohio State. Jordan Addison from Pitt to USC. And then Josh Downs at North Carolina. Those are the three wide receivers that get named to the All-American squad. Um, there's so much to talk about. There's, yeah. there's so much to talk about about these guys. When you look, I, I think at least two of these three are are difference makers wherever they go play, wherever they go play next at the next level. Curious, we'll start with um, you, Trev. What are your thoughts about the receiver position here tonight? Yeah, th these guys are freaks. All three of these guys are freaks. And uh, if you're a quarterback at any one of those three schools, uh, you should be licking your chop chops because those guys are going to make you look good regardless. Um, I think Jackson Smith and Jigba – some could argue he may be the best player in college football across the board, right? I mean, the guy, his production, uh, the way that he attacks the ball, his route running, his hands. I mean, it, it is every quarterback's dream to have a guy like that to throw to. Um, it'll be interesting watching Addison out at USC. He came from Pitt. He had um, he had a great quarterback, right, this past year. And so he goes over. He's joining Caleb Williams and he's going to a high-powered offense with Lincoln Riley. Now, it's not just a Lincoln Riley offense, okay? Put some NOS in that thing because Lincoln Riley's got a chip on his shoulder with, of course, the, the, the untimely exit from OU, um, all, all the negative, uh, you know, surrounding that. And, uh, and now you've got uh, some big pieces of the puzzle coming up. And uh, if, if, if Caleb Williams, which I believe he can, can get him the ball – it's going to have a massive year. And then you go out to North Carolina and, and Mac Brown and that squad out there is going to find a way to get the ball in his hands a lot. Um, he's going to score a, a lot of different touchdowns, a lot of different ways. And uh, just, these guys are going to be fun to watch, making big plays and, and getting on a lot of highlight tapes as we go throughout the season. Yeah, I love Jackson Smith and Jake, but man, I think you made a great point about him being one of the most dynamic players in college football. And I think – when you look at the team last year and obviously with Chris Olave and Garrett Wilson, you know, him being the three and then having his chance in the Rose bowl last year, and really, uh, really making the most of it. Um, I think he's kind of the perfect combination of the two. I thought Garrett Wilson was a little bit more of a switchblade kind of Swiss army knife in that offense. You could line him up inside. He could also run, uh, you know, some outside routes and things of that nature, but I thought he did things a little bit different than Chris did. Um, and, Jackson, like I said, is kind of the perfect combination of those two. And I think that's what's going to give him a, a, a step up on anybody else bidding for an All-American because the kid can get touches in a ton of different ways. Um, you know, is he not – he's not tied to – the exposition being split out single can get clouded. You know, if you need to figure out creative mismatches, you can get them on safeties and linebackers and move them inside and he can still be productive and get in and out of cuts. So he's super, super dynamic. Um, Jordan Addison, obviously, like you said, you know, coming off the year he had Blitnikoff, um, crazy that he left, but that's again, the world we live in with NIL. Um, and I think to your point, the offense fits. He's going to be in a, in a, in a great position to be as explosive as, as ever. I think USC, the, the tradition at the quarterback position and then also at the wide receiver position speaks for itself. So, um, you know, the Pac-12 ball, they, they throw it around. Defenses usually play, play pretty simple and they're usually shootouts. So I'm really interested to see how he can, how he can adjust in creative ways they can get touches. And I think Josh Downs one's really interesting because – um, North Carolina, you know, the only real question mark of the three at the quarterback position, they're going to have a young kid coming in there, um, in, uh, Drake may, uh, unproven, doesn't have a ton of reps, you know, went through a quarterback battle all, all camp. So the timing and the, um, the benefits you have of having a starter throughout camp, um, was kind of lost there, uh, in terms of timing during practice and then after practice. So, I'm curious to see the production. Uh, I talked about the ACC last year. I think there's a lot of question marks, you know, basically from the top two or three teams down in terms of what happens. I think there's opportunities for people to come out and make plays and be explosive. So, um, but Max done a great job of collecting some talent and um, you know, we'll, we'll see what, we'll see what comes out of that and how that shakes out. But I think that that's the one thing to watch with him on this list is can he get some consistent quarterback play? Um, down there to be able to get him the football. And, and he was, he was incredibly consistent last year. And I think that's what 
uh, has got him on this list. Um, I, re- I read a stat. He ranked third nationally with 754 yards after catch. That's, yep. that's catching the ball and then making something happen with it, right? That's, that's what you want as a quarterback. So, um, you know, w- w- the opportunity is there. They just got to get the ball in his hands. No doubt. I'm, I'm excited for this group. Um, most excited for Jordan Addison. Um, number one, like I think to, to the point you both made, it's, it's so unique. You've never seen the best player at his position in the country leave for another school where they're only there for six months or so. Um, I'm calling their opener. So I'm in preparation for that game. I've been over to SC, I'm obviously preparing and watching tape. He reminds you of Calvin Ridley. The dude can just ride. Like, and I, I am so excited to watch him just run a post route and run by dudes, right? Run a dig route, run an over route, and just run through defenses. And, and what's going to be unique is out here on the West Coast, heck, the, the defense is what really is a variant is pre snap. Like you can turn on whether it's Arizona, Arizona State, Utah, Colorado, Oregon, Oregon State, Stanford. You're going to see something different from every one of those. So that's what I'm most excited about just for that offense. Right? They didn't have spring ball to go together with. Um, these guys haven't been thrown together for a year, a year and a half, like some relationships like CJ Stroud, for instance. So I'm most excited to watch the development and evolution of the passing game at SC as it goes on. Because Lincoln Riley has proven as one of the best play callers in the last decade in college football. And we know what Caleb can do. We know what Jordan is potential is after what he did a year ago. I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited to watch these guys week one, let alone as they get rolling into the season.